Welcome to the Temple of Gloom. Or, welcome back to them's fighting herds. Last part, we kicked a reality warping alpaca in the mouth and went into this creepy temple. This part, we will begin exploring said creepy temple and probably encounter the other person who came into this temple as described by the other alpacas of the highland who is apparently horned so since this is based on a fighting game by the My Little Pony Princess Magic series a pointed one is probably referring to a unicorn. Of course, we are dealing with these weird gas barrier things, so it seems like the only way to go forward is to go forward. And it would seem like we can't go completely forward. And I can try to tear at these predators or take another way around. I am saving my health, so I'm just gonna go around. Well, there's that treasure there. And since those were health pickups, I think I will try to insult those predators. It's stupid, but I know I'm gonna fight with them at some point. So let's just get over with trampling these guys. Let's hopefully get some good fight out of these guys. And that's one down. And good old fashioned rope usage. And Flops is a jerk. Luckily, I am very good at at fighting these things. And and hopefully I don't have to use my special abilities just yet, because I may have played this game a little for recording, so yeah, it's probably gonna fight me in the butt that I just used a special attack there. Luckily, if I have to go to the other side of the bridge, I don't have to worry about those predators, and I can always gather all of these magic pickups and health pickups and it looks like at some point I'm gonna have to fight a lot more of these predators luckily I also collected all of the collectibles of this area and playing a chapter again means that all the pickups have been already collected, so that's always a good plus. And 
Well, that's not so hard. Let's try beating up this giant snake monster. I remember when these things were the first main boss of this whole journey. That was a trip. And... Well... We defeated those predators. Gained a sweet looking crown. Unfortunately, now we gotta try to beat these two predators in addition to those three. Luckily, I can just do regular movements to beat them up. And also, as usual, I can also use my stomp abilities for fighting to stun enemies. And here we get introduced to an interesting puzzle because now another predator gets dealt with. Unfortunately, that area gets closed off. And now we just have to keep going forward. Probably beat this guy first. Since this looks like to be a more difficult predator than the other versions I've fought, I'm gonna probably be forced to use some more, I guess, double-edged abilities. Fortunately, there's this healing thing here. Or gain some more magic power. And now I can use this second block here to apparently destroy another predator so I don't have to worry about him. And I also have a way back from where I came from. very least I can venture forward and it looks like I'm gonna be dealing with two different types of predators or well two awakened ones and one distracted Predator. And something tells me those rope tricks are going to be very useful at some point. Especially that area one. And with that, we open up another way forward. And we end up right back where we started. And since we're right back where we started, I think this is a good spot to end this video. And turn in next week or next time where I will have Arizona venture forward through this big scary temple and 
inevitably fight some giant predator. So, like and subscribe, and I will see you later for them fighting her.